Okay team, welcome back. Now what we're going to do today is we are going to create a zombie and give it some very basic artificial intelligence. So you will need to go back to the screen here that I've been working on. Uh, and the scripts that we're after at the moment are the zombie artificial intelligence. Uh, the zombie scoring, I need to refine that before uh, we start to put that one in. That's the next tutorial anyway. Okay, so what we did for the player, that's a capsule today. Uh, we are going to ultimately look at changing that to something uh, a little bit more realistic. What I want to do now is I want to make a game object. I'm going to create a cube and this cube is going to be the zombie for us. I'm scraping it off the ground over here so I'm going to make him about one high uh, move him over there. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to give him a tag. Now we need a specific tag. I'm going to call him zombie. And so that's all lowercase there. So I will go to the cube over here and I will change that to the zombie tag. And I might as well rename that to zombie as well. So later on we're going to be able to copy this so we can have more than one zombie. Now the artificial intelligence that we've got isn't particularly clever but uh, it should uh, provide us with a bit of a sense of how it can work and ultimately we might upgrade that to something uh, that is a little bit better. We're going to import a new asset the asset that we are after today is the zombie artificial intelligence JavaScript. So I'm going to import that one in. Okay, so this is the script here. Um, and in these uh, comments, it tells you how it works. Okay, so we're going to drag the zombie, zombie artificial intelligence and put that on top of the zombie there. So click on that. So really the things that we can all play with here are the move speed and then the rotation speed. Um, the slower it moves, the more zombie life it is. It will come directly at you, so you probably don't want that too quick. The target, this is when you get to say, hey, I'm with you. The other thing that we need to do is go into the player, and the player, we need to change the tag level to player as well. And the reason for that is, is in this script in here, it's calls here game object find the tag player and moves towards that so that's the target so that's important so we'll put in a save in there when we press play this zombie should very slowly start to run towards us now, you can see I just moved my coins there so that I can escape a little bit of lag you can see that that zombie is after me. The next tutorial will be about having some kind of weapon so that when I turn around I can hit him with a fireball and kill him at the moment. That's just not happening. Okay, see you soon.